It's Love A Story Time. What story have we got today? It is, Who's Got The Hiccups? Have you ever had the hiccups? How did you get rid of them? Let's read the story and find out how our character gets rid of their hiccups. What a day, Pumba said as he led Simba and Timon through the forest. What a day indeed. Timo agreed. Yep, said Simba. What was that? Timo cried. Don't be scared. It's just that I have the hiccups. I have the hiccups, Simba explained. I'll tell you what to do, Timo said. Forget about it. They'll go away eventually. Forget about hiccups? But I can't roar, Simba explained. And to demonstrate, he opened his mouth really wide. But just as he was about to roar, he hiccuped. See, he said sadly. Have you tried licking tree bark? Pumba asked. Licking tree bark, said Simba. It always works for me, Pumba explained. That or closing your eyes, holding your nose and jumping on one foot while saying your name five times fast backwards. Timo watched Simba hop around on one foot, holding his nose with his eyes closed. Abimis, Abimis, Abimis. It's not working, Simba cried. Maybe there's something caught in his throat. Timo offered. There's nothing caught in his throat, Pumba said. How do you know? Timo asked. I just know about these things, Pumba answered. Suddenly, right on cue, Simba interrupted their argument with the biggest hiccup of all. <coughs> and wouldn't you know, just then, the Biggest fly you've ever seen came soaring out of Simba's mouth. It flew right into a tree and crashed to the ground. The fly stood up groggily and shook itself off. It's about that time, the fly said to Simba. Simba was about to reply, but he was interrupted by two voices shouting in unison. Dinner. The fly gave a frightened squeak and flew off as Timo and Pumba both pounced on the spot where it had been just a moment earlier. That was a quick love story. Now remember, if you have a problem, just like Simba and his hiccup, you can ask someone or talk to someone about it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next story. Bzz.